it was good. One thing I kind of want to let you guys know is uh, I want you to really start to try to focus. This is the challenge. This is the challenge for you. I want you to focus on mobility in your joints. Don't just stretch. When you, when, when you think mobility, don't just think about stretching. Think about your joints. One thing I found out about uh, Crystal, my rehab coach, uh, she does all my body increased motion mobility stuff, which we'll probably film one of those sessions eventually. Um, and one thing that, that I've learned is that I neglect a lot of my joint mobility. So meaning, as, no matter how much I stretch, I can't stretch more or get that um, feel more flexible because my joints won't allow it, right? My joints are so stable and stationary and need more room and space to allow my muscles to expand and stretch out. But once again, I'm so tight in the joint areas, not, not necessarily really in, in, in my muscles, but the actual joints. So what I've learned is to really single out everything. So from wrists right here to elbows, to shoulder and you just kind of want to single out everything you don't want to be like 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 this you know what I'm saying because everything's being moved just trying to single out every single joint right shoulder boom 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 to knees now I understand the old people's <laughs> the old people movement right here hips going around then kind of what I do is pull the pull this hip kind of like up down up same thing over here, down, up, right, ankles, boom. We're gonna do some bird dogs. Start out with the warm up. Uh, once again, some mobility. Fuel right now, 30% off. Use code aftermath. So head to gfuel.com. Use code aftermath, 30% off uh, for the next couple days. So I suggest you use it now. So the great thing about being an athlete that I've experienced in my life with training, the warm-up is mostly the hardest part. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing a burpee medicine ball slam. We're gonna do six. We're gonna have 20 second rest in between each six. So we're gonna do three sets, six reps, 30 second, 20, 20, 20 second rest actually. The great thing about it is you get the heart rate going, get your sweat going, get a little bit enough rest time to go all out again, but still get work for the next set. up four sets five seconds you want to have knee drive you're in the drive phase of running your 40 or 100 meter sprint and usually that phase lasts for a, a good five seconds we'll start right here as soon as you start <laughs> and one thing you want to keep is this toe dorsi flex you don't want to be right here. You want to be the right just like this. Don't don't sling it down. All right, you'll get injuries like this. Keep that toe up. All right, so we're riding on a rack. Always stay loose. Keep the joints warm, muscles warm. We got snatches. So I'm back to a little bit of Olympic lifting. That's one thing. If I was to choose between 
power cleans and snatching, I feel that snatching would work best. And the reason why is because that overhead, when you're pulling it, boom, this motion, this motion helps with launching a lot more. Now, power cleans, full cleans, yes, they do help with explosiveness and stuff, but just from the breakdown of the snatch over the power clean, I just feel that it does a lot more when it comes to helping the vertical jump or the, uh, and, I, and I feel a lot better. I like it a lot more. I'd rather snatch than power clean, even though I don't have that, that good overhead shoulder mobility. So I'm gonna be doing this explosively rather rather than doing like heavy crazy amount of weight. Uh, weight. You wanna go see heavy crazy amount of weight? Check out Clarence Kennedy's channel. But this channel, I'm staying my lane. All right, so full body training. We'll start with snatches, move on to squats right after, and then we'll do some more upper body stuff to add it. So what I'm gonna do, teach myself more. And the reason why I have the plates on the side is to make sure that when I'm up and that explosive, uh, that triple extension, I come out so I can sink under. better bar. for three sets of three right now. But I'm still in the warm up process. I need my exact weight on there. Real blood, sweat, and tears right now. Okay, I gotta be careful with. This bar is so fat. It's like, it's really bad bar. But I gotta deal with it. So, I can't really go crazy. Or at least, like, 135 is probably the max I can do with this. Ah, oh, that was horrible. It was just so, it's so light that you just want to flip it. So, right here, this whole exercise, we're getting shredded, we're building lean muscle mass. You already know we're burning fat. Keeps that heart rate going. My heart has not calmed down ever since the beginning. My heart feels like I'm still doing the burpees and the shit, my eyes salty. This is how athletes train on the regular. That's why they look like they do. That's why we look like we do. We might not be in the league or stuff like, you know, like right, right now playing sports, but I still keep that type of training. We athletes are hybrid training. We do the CrossFit, we do the bodybuilding. We do all aspects of training all together in one to develop a good look and good performance. Unless you're a lineman. They just want you to eat a lot and train. Now we got squats. Three sets of six. Full ball. Uh, actually, no. Maybe a yeah, three sets of six. Full ball. <laughs> good call, man. Still have time to put the headphones on. Be the last set before I get to the actual last one set before I get to the actual set. Uh, no, it's four or five for three sets uh, of five reps that I have to end with this portion, and then we'll move to the upper body, more upper body stuff. Shout out to my hero, Academia. Academia, Boku no Hero. I've been listening to season, well, we have season three, right? Season three, opening four. 
That's like my pre-workout like hype music, yo. I'm gonna put the link in the description for SoundCloud, yo. Hype. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that one. What other anime song I listen to? I listen to Samurai Champloos. I listen to Tokyo Ghouls. Uh, hell, I think uh, two days ago I listened to Rock the Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. I listen to that one. Yeah, I listen to a lot of anime like openings when I work out. Maybe get me lit. But right now, opening four, of Boku no Hero is like my number one like get lit song. That should, that should be. It's like that part when All Might, you see like All Might with the blue eyes. In the beginning, oh, that shit gets me so hype. You just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I probably might have the video still up where me and Wolf I used to film on our phone on huge on, on Instagram. Four, five, 15 reps, 15, 20 reps. For 20 reps, bro. One shot. I don't even think I can get like 12 right now. Stop we got three sets to 10. Explosive push press. Push press, load the bar, come out here. There's two ways you can do it. You can do straight leg or just up, or you can do split leg. Where's one, two? Working on that jerk, that explosive movement vertical, upwards and horizontal. With the strong shoulders, getting explosive, working that fiber two, working those fiber two muscles. Huh? Next up, we're going on those strength phase, strength stability phase of the exercise for the upper body. We have four presses, six reps, about, I'll about to say six. Six reps each arm, six reps. So with this, it's great, especially if you have shoulder issues, the fact that your range of motion stops at the floor. So there's no overstretch of the chest or the shoulder in that position. And you wanna keep that, that arm about right here. Instead of right here, you wanna be right here. It's more of a power position than right here. You have more strength in this position than that arm than having it up here. You feel me? So, so we're gonna do six reps, four, three. Feels good, you get the abs in the play, because you have to still keep that body. As soon as you start bringing it off the ground, you have to keep that body and core tight to keep yourself from rolling over. Just gonna lay here. Got about a minute, minute, minute 30 between each set. These are real training sessions, people. No, no, no horseshoe, silly nanny, woolly whack, wonka, chocolate factory shit. I, I, that speech was so serious, I spit. Three sets, 30 seconds, 
single arm rows. We got the incline bench right here, 50 pound dumbbells on the side. And we're just gonna roll it out for 30 seconds. So that's kind of the full workout, but not really. It's like 75% because after this, this is just the weightlifting part of the, of the workout. We go outside to the field. So make sure you subscribe, like this video. We, we do so much work. Our metabolism is burning and running all day that it just allows us to, you know, just consume these carbs and proteins in order just to just even maintain. You know, this is something I do majority of my week and, and it's just to maintain um, where I'm at, you know, I stay, I stay 228. I hover around 228 all year round. Like it doesn't, I, I go down a little bit, five pounds, or I go up five pounds, and it's probably mostly water weight, and I'm right back at 228. I just design, you know, myself that I'm, I'm okay with being here, and I just try to better, better my 228 weight, you know, look better, feel better, perform better, that's it. Be the most complete 228 pound I can be. Uh, so that's that. Now, it's time to show you guys how athletes eat. Let's go. Welcome, we are here again, Korean barbecue. It is an all athletes place because guess what we eat after we train? Pretty much everything. When I was at the Jets camp, it was just a buffet. It's literally just a buffet after Jets, after the camp, bro. You just keep going, bro, I swear. After training, after training, I, uh, and, and after um, play, going over plays, and then through training. At Jets camp, we would, we would go over plays, do studying, go run them, walkthroughs, have lunch, and then everything after that. So, this is the perfect place for all the protein and carb needs right here, right now. You heard it first. Um, premium steak. Premium steak, um, spicy rice steak, and I can put one more item for you guys. Beef belly. Beef belly. Can we pay extra to put in more items? We can only put in four items at a time. All right, you know what? So cool. once those come out, I can come back and we'll put in more. All right, cool, cool, cool. The lime, the lime, no, no, no. What, what other flavors do you have, like strawberry? Uh, yeah. Don't drink, kids. Um, all right, so we got rice and a whole bunch of meat. Rice cakes here are, are great, yo. If you ever come here and you're in Glendale, please. It's the most bang for your buck. It's like $21.99 per person. Last time I came here with three people, we only paid like 55 bucks. Don't, don't know how, and we drunk a lot. Don't know how, whatever. Could you imagine if they came back? Like they saw me, hey, uh, just to let you know, yeah, we, you got the wrong check, so we're gonna add on last check. But no, it, it said, every, it had all the drinks we ordered. It looked like it got discounted somehow. Maybe they saw one of my videos or something or Snap Insta stores. Maybe the waiter waiter was a fan and he like hooked us up. I don't know. These are so good. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. Gorilla. Thanks, man.